Okay, now at this time I'm going to go ahead and create the rubber stamp itself. And we'll go ahead and switch up to the file that we've already created, the rubber stamp laser piece part. So we'll select on that. And as it comes up, we're going to go ahead and set our sales normal to the top plane. Here, we'll come up and we'll go to sketch. We'll do, as we did before, we'll do a rectangle by center. We'll say a dimensional um, width here of 1.125, 1 and 1 8 inch, as you see. We'll set a height here as 0.875. And then we'll go ahead and we'll check that off. We'll come up to features and do extrude boss face. And at this time, we know that our rubber piece that we're going to be working with, that we'll actually be lasering, is a quarter of an inch. However, we're going to go ahead and make this only an eighth of an inch. We're going to come back and add a relief that shows the actual sharp design that we're coming up with. So we'll accept that. And again, we'll edit material types. Collapse steel. This time we'll go to rubber and we'll select natural rubber. We'll apply that. Hit close. We'll come over here to go ahead and F, hit fit in the screen. We'll come over here to appearances, we'll collapse wood. We'll scroll up and we'll find an, an image that looks very similar to the one that we're creating. I'm going to go ahead and select painted and I'm going to put, uh, let's just check some of these here out. Sprayed. Uh, it's probably not the one we want. Go to metal. We'll come down to here. I don't see any in there that I would like. Let's try plastic. We'll go to uh, medium gloss, scroll down there, and we'll probably select this one here and we'll put it on top of there. It shows our part at this time. Okay, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and save our file, and we're going to come back to this here in a few moments.